Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? What is this? Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? I mean, normally I would say no, but... <laughs> if I were really lonely... Like, really lonely... And a complete hermit, which could absolutely be something that would be me in another life. Or somewhere, hopefully, long in the future. Um, sure. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Yes, definitely. I mean, it already is, really. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? A cell phone. Yeah, cell phone. Do you consider yourself like dependent on technology? Yeah. What technology do you most anticipate? Brain connected devices. Or androids. I'm gonna go with the androids because those pretty much already exist. Do you believe in God? No. Would you let an android take care of your children? That really depends on the circumstances. In these particular circumstances, probably because all of the deviance that I've been seeing, it's because of abuse. And we're not the abusive, my husband and I aren't the abusive type at all. So I don't think we would have that issue. But if androids, it really just depends on, you know, the common issues or even the rare issues that happen with the androids. So I'm gonna have to go with don't know. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Way too much. <laughs> Probably more than that, for sure. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Yeah, we already use machines a lot for surgeries, so yeah. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Yep. <clears throat> yes. Okay, glad I'm not alone on that. 70% said yes. 18%, that's still such a large number. Like, come on. Come on, guys. Be, be real here. It already is. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Most people said an instrument, cell phone. The thing is with your cell phone, if you have the right apps, you can kind of play instruments on your phone. You can play various music on your phone. Pen and paper, you could potentially find stuff in the wilderness that might kind of function as that. A console. Nah, it's not as diverse as a cell phone. A book would be nice, but it'd be one singular book. There's really not a whole lot of usage you could get out of it. Do you consider yourself dependent? 85% <laughs> said yes. Wow. Not surprising though, really. What technology do you mostly anticipate? Brain-connected devices and androids. Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. I think 
space is still pretty far out, same with flying cars. I feel like we would do space tourism before flying cars. Wow, well, 53 said no. I mean, I'm kind of agnostic, so it could kind of be don't know, but mostly no. Most said yes, they would. Interesting. With what I've seen with these androids, yeah, I probably would. But in reality, it would really just depend on the problems with those androids. How much time do you spend per day on electronic devices? Wow. 77% said more than four hours a day. We really rely on our electronic devices, cell phones and consoles, laptops. Would you agree to be operated on by a machine? 74 said yes. 11% said no. Do you think one day machines could develop a consciousness? 69 said yes. 15 said no. You really think they'll, they'll never develop a consciousness? I think... I think they could. Alright, well that was fun. 